What's up, y'all? It is Dominic here for Obligatory, giving you an overview of the new releases for the week ending in Friday, September 8th. Kicking things off this week, we have Olivia Rodrigo with her sophomore album, Guts. It follows up the massive success that was her debut album, Sour, and focuses on her experiences as a 19-year-old amidst a year filled with lots of confusion, mistakes, awkwardness, and good old-fashioned teen angst, as she described in the album's announcement. Guts is out now via Geffen Records. Singer-songwriter and producer James Blake released his sixth studio album with Playing Robots Into Heaven, which sees him shifting toward a more club-oriented sound with a combination of garage, dubstep, and the alt-R&B sound he's worked with over the past several years. Playing Robots Into Heaven is out now via Republic Records. After a number of high-profile collaborations with the likes of Tyler the Creator, Lil Yachty, and Travis Scott, among others, Tizo Touchdown has released his debut album, How Do You Sleep at Night? As for the sound you can expect on it, he described it as follows in an interview with Zane Lowe. Sound that I'm crafting is called Rock and Boom. It's R&B with the intensity of rock. It has R&B top lines. The boom, of course, for boom bap. It's the boom bap penmanship. How Do You Sleep at Night is out now through RCA Records. A posthumous release, the final Sparkle Horse album, Bird Machine, comes by way of Anti Records this week. The indie rock band, led by singer-songwriter and multi-instrumentalist Mark Linkus, put out five records before Linkus unfortunately took his own life in 2010. Linkus recorded the majority of Bird Machine in 2009, and these near-finished recordings were discovered in 2022 by his brother Matt, who, alongside his wife Melissa and producer Alan Weatherhead, helped to put the finishing touches on them and co-produce the album. As was usually the case for Linkus's work, Bird Machine is a very emotionally heavy record, but a beautiful one nonetheless. Baltimore melodic hardcore band Angel Dust, which featured members of hardcore heavyweights Trapped Under Ice and Turnstile, share a new album titled Brand New Soul. This album comes amidst a transition for the group with vocalist Justice Tripp, likely best known as the frontman of Trapped Under Ice, is joined by an all-new band as Brendan Yates, Pat McCrory, and Daniel Fang have all looked to focus their efforts solely on turnstile in between the time of their last release. Brand New Soul does feature some contributions from McCrory and Fang, but also sees the new iteration of the band coming together to push the mission of Angel Dust further. That being, to make pop rock songs and play them really fast, as Tripp told Stereo Gum in a recent interview. Brand New Soul by by Angel Dust is out now via Popwig Records. Prior to his death in 2017, Lil Peep recorded an album with I Love McConan titled Diamonds, which is just now seen an official release this week. According to a statement from Lil Peep's estate, it is the last cohesive, previously unreleased full body of work from the late rapper. Diamonds is out now via AWOL. R&B singer Tinashe has released a new mini album of sorts with the seven track, roughly 20 minutes long, Baby Angel. This project is Tinashe's first release with Nice Life Recording Company as the publisher, and it's also worth noting that it is her first record with no features since 2016's Night Ride. Memphis synth-punk trio Optic Sync deliver their second album with the release of Glass Block. Dark, minimalistic, groovy, and very reminiscent of early 1980s synth-punk, this one is killer and certainly one you do not want to sleep on. Glass Blocks is out now via Feel It Records. Irish singer-songwriter Roison Murphy just released her sixth studio album with Hit Parade. The colorful art pop album is out now via Ninja Tune. The avant-garde jazz group Irreversible Entanglements, which features more mother on vocals, have shared their fourth album with Protect Your Light, which is out now and marks their first release on the iconic Impulse Records. Chicago post-punk band Deeper have shared their third album, Careful, via Sub Pop Records. Indie folk artist Angimaly released their fifth album, The King, which comes by way of 4AD. Moving on to some of the singles from this week, we have a new track from Sampha titled Only. Last week, the R&B artist shared some details about his new and upcoming album, Lahai, which you can hear a lot more about by checking out our news video from last week, where Dev gave an overview on what to expect. But this week, Sampha is back with not only the new single, but he released the album's full track list and gave a release date. Sampha's new album, Lahai, will be out October 20th via Young Records. After making his Warp Records debut three weeks ago with the track Voyager, Slauson Malone One, the project of artist and musician Jasper Marsalis, has announced a new album on the way with another single titled New Joy. It comes alongside a music video directed by Corey Parker of By Storm slash Injury Reserve, featuring mostly close-up shots of various objects and Malone's head, in addition to some furry sketches and Malone doing a spaghetti mukbang. 
The new album from Slauson Malone 1 is titled Excelsior and it is set to release October 6th via the aforementioned Warp Records. On Wednesday, the Dutch band Pip Blom released another track from their upcoming album Bobby with the new single Get Back and it has already been stuck in my head like crazy. Similarly to the previous three singles, it is super danceable and feels very seductive, but Get Back is the punchiest and most guitar driven of the singles yet. In a statement, lead singer and the band's namesake, Pip Blom herself, said, quote, I love how Get Back is both a rock song, but still sounds very produced. A recurring phenomenon on Bobby is the vocals with a lot of autotune, which can also be heard in the bridge of this song. Get Back may be one of the loudest songs on the album, yet Claudius managed to give it an even bigger lift in volume and intensity in the last chorus. Pip Blom's new album, Bobby, comes out October 20th via Heavenly Recordings and Play It Again Sam Records. In a few weeks, the Philly indie rock band Slaughter Beach Dog will be releasing their new album, Crying, Laughing, Waving, Smiling. This week, they've shared the fourth single from it with the new track, Engine, which is a bit on the longer side, clocking in at almost nine minutes long. Engine is out now, and the new Slaughter Beach Dog record comes out September 22nd via Lamo Records. Earlier this year, Brooklyn indie rock band Geese released their sophomore album, 3D Country, and this week they have announced the new EP, 4D Country, which will feature a few songs from the same recording session. The EP's lead single, Jesse, is in a similar vein to their latest record with its sort of semi-ironic, semi-earnest country rock. The full EP comes out about a month from now on October 13th via Partisan Records and Play It Again Sam Records. In June, the Irish garage punk band Sprints shared the single Adore, 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 and this week they return with a new single titled Up and Comer, along with the exciting news that their debut album is on the way. The album is called The Letter to Self, and it'll be one of the first releases of the new year coming out on January 5th, 2024 through City Slang Records. About Up and Comer, band leader Carla Chubb described it as, quote, a pretty dry take on a fear and self-consciousness that has been ruminating in me since I picked up an instrument. This innate fear that maybe I would always be good for a girl, but would I ever actually be great? It's an invisible narrative that has been constructed by the doubts and negativity I've been fed by others as well as my own imposter syndrome. RMFC, the garage punk project of Australian musician Buzz Clatworthy, share a new single, The Trap, from RMFC's debut album, Club Hits. Club Hits, the debut album from a rock music fan club, is out November 3rd via Anti-Fade Records and Urge Records. The album's Bandcamp listing has a lot of info on it, ranging from amusing to insightful and referring to RMFC as Rock Music Football Club, Rock Music Finesse Class, among others, but my favorite bit of it comes under the Rock Music Fanatic Convulsions section in which it says, quote, To your average German, the sound of Bach made them reverent with Lutheran frenzy, and for the average rock music fan, the sound of RMFC makes them catatonic with guitar overdose. Back in July, the Brooklyn slacker rock and shoegaze adjacent band Hotline TNT announced their signing to Third Man Records and shared the single Protocol. This week, they're back with another one titled I Thought You'd Change, and they announced their new album Cartwheel that'll be out November 3rd. Following up on one of the best albums of the past several years, last year's Diaspora Problems, the Philadelphia hardcore punk band Soul Glow have released a new single titled If I Speak, Shut the Fuck Up. It comes with a very graphic and definitely not safe for work video that you can only see uncensored on their website, though there is a pretty heavily censored version available on their YouTube. In a statement, the band's Jordan Pierce explained that, quote, If I Speak is a song about channeling one's voice and perspective through art or another creative expression. The vocalist continued by saying that you can hear when people spend more time online than on their music. You can tell when people are more focused on a visual statement than a sound. This one is out now via Epitaph Records. Irish rapper Kojak has announced a new album on the way with the release of his new single titled Woof. His new album, Phantom of the Afters, comes out October 27th via his own Soft Boy Records. And that does it for this week. There was a ton of music released in what, similar to last week, was one of the most stacked weeks of the year. So we obviously didn't cover everything, but if you want to see the full list we put together, you can check that out on your screen or head over to our socials. Otherwise, we are currently polling for albums by Earl Sweatshirt, No Name, Genesis Owusu, Nirvana, Outkast, and more. Make sure you check out our voting forums where you can submit a score, select top tracks, and submit a review for a chance to be featured. Lastly, make sure to check out our previous video where Dev covered some new stories and music that happened over the past week or so, and thank you so much for watching.